The Panama Canal is motion from north to south and south to north every day and every night every day of the year there are people in motion it serves the world as an ever available link always ready for trade that commitment requires us to constantly work to improve our services for that reason we have joined forces with the world to update the 100-year-old waterway. The Panama Canal Expansion Program is the largest infrastructure undertaking ever for this young republic. It is the spearhead of our commitment. The tasks involved are varied and vast. We are building and transforming the natural surroundings to add a third lane of transit for our operations. One that enables passage by post-Panamax vessels across the all-water route. To date, we have completed more than three-quarters of the work required. Some 36,000 men and women have fused science and passion into the application of the best modern engineering practices. In the sun and the rain, workers continue with their mission. They come, go, sacrifice and give it their all. Some on the ground, others in the air. The goal, to build the new locks. Wider, deeper, longer. This project constitutes the component with the largest budget and the greatest complexity under the program. Today, its shape is clearly defined. More than 4 million cubic meters of concrete have been poured at both construction sites. With some 42 million cubic meters of dirt and rock excavated and transported to designated disposal areas. The hard basaltic rock found in the Pacific site has been mined to produce aggregate for the concrete that will be used to construct the lock's walls and floors. Also, to connect the locks to the new channel, three dams are being built under this project at the north end of the lock complex. Nearby the construction, two barges make daily journeys to the Atlantic site, 80 kilometers north. They carry 40,000 tons of basalt every week, used to prepare the concrete mixes that are shaping the locks. Modern industrial parks, exclusively assembled for the construction, were installed on each site. There, the rock is crushed, steel is cut, and equipment is serviced. This great lock has been molded by the hands of thousands of workers. Far beyond local borders, the new gates were built in Italy. Built of structural steel, each weighs an average of 3,300 tons. The 16 gates are already in Panama marking the beginning of the project's electromechanical phase. In December 2014, the transit of the eight gates of the Pacific sector was completed. Currently, the gates are being installed at both sites. Numerous deliveries with the large elements required for the locks filling and emptying system have arrived on site. The deliveries include a series of the latest generation of hydraulic valves to regulate the flow of water between the water-saving basins, the culverts, and the lock chambers. The goal of the canal expansion program is to make the ocean-to-ocean -ocean water route wider and deeper through various dredging projects at the canal entrances and across Batum Lake. The stretch across the Continental Divide 
the famous Insinius Culebra cut is in the final stages of its transformation. Its curves have been straightened and its depth increased. The aids to navigation are being realigned for the wider reaches. The new cut will connect the new locks on the Pacific side through a new channel separate from the existing canal. Through four dry excavation phases, we moved thousands of tons of dirt, removing several large hills. Having reached the required depth, we are now building a 2.3 kilometer long dam to separate the waters. This new dam will be known as Borinquen. The program includes provisions to increase our fresh water reservoir. The project to increase the maximum operating level of Gatun Lake entails the modification of existing canal structures to add an additional 45 centimeters of water above the existing level of its 423 square kilometer span. This will add some 200 million cubic meters of water to our waterway flow. The expansion program is also benefiting local forests. More than 800 hectares of land have been reforested as compensation for altering the flora in the areas surrounding the projects. Thousands of animals have been rescued and relocated to protected zones. The program has also made important contributions to the world of science with the discovery of significant archaeological and paleontological findings in dredging and dry excavation sites. Panama has been the crossroad of the world for hundreds of years. The Panama Canal expansion is now winding this pathway where nations meet. The work is being conducted by an up-and-coming nation with growth and development as its goals. We are shaping the scientific and technological legacy we will leave for the benefit of the world.